Thunder Dave Steinman claims to have invented Mio Energy and to therefore be the natural choice for spokesperson of the brand. Mio Energy is the greatest source of energy ever discovered. Just hit the tag for me. Personal, portable, Mio Energy. I just went on a vision quest. He is joining us right now. He is Bob Sapp. Bob, how are you? Bob, how are you? All right, I'm pretty good now. Now, you got to get it right, Ariel. It's Bob the Beast. <laughs> Bob the Be oh, there he is. Now I definitely know it's it's you and not an imposter. Um, all right, much to discuss with you, Bob. And by the way, I hear some feedback. Am, am I on a speakerphone or something? That, that is. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and disconnect that. Okay. And uh, how's that? That sounds a lot better. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so uh, obviously you were a lot going on with you, Bob. A lot to talk to you about. A lot of people interested in this interview. Uh, you just had a fight. Uh, when was it? Uh, how many days ago? Like four or so days ago? No, three days ago in, uh, yeah. in Australia. And, you know, you've had some tough losses lately. This one was the toughest of them all because it only lasted 12 seconds. What exactly went wrong against Soa Palile? You know, um, I can tell you one of the, well, I think uh, it lasted a little longer than 12. I think it was 20 seconds. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you, it was definitely fast. Uh, Nothing went wrong, actually, for Soa. He, he went in there and he created some uh, a tremendous amount of, of damage in a short uh, period of time. Uh, if, if, if you may wonder, like, well, why did Bob stop? And, and this is a, a tremendous, this is a great question. I did receive a cut underneath my eye, which the referee, uh, right before the fight, he asked what I would be comfortable in, in doing. And I said, listen, I will... For sure, I have to make sure that my body uh, stays intact. So I went into that uh, uh, match. Uh, they had me uh, backtrack. CFC had recently just placed that ring together. So because I had uh, some hesitation and trust for the ring to stand, I taped my knees. I then uh, later asked the referee, I said, listen, if there's any uh, major damage for cuts, you will stop the fight, period. Or, and if there's no uh, towel that will be allowed, my corner man will climb onto the ring and throw a shoe right at your head. <laughs> so you will, you will stop the match, plain and simple. He said, Bob, I understand 100%. And when I received that cut, he saw the cut. He did stop the fight. The cut did need to receive stitches. He did the, the right thing. And any opportunity, any chance, if I had to do it again, all I would do is put my hands up and block to avoid the injury. However, if that injury happens, absolutely stop the fight. Stop it. You win, Soa. Everything is wonderful. I will receive no damage to my body that will be long-lasting for a small, insignificant amount of cash. I think we've now seen that now with examples with the NFL and the fact that some of these guys are coming back and saying, hey, we want some money, we have brain damage, and all of a sudden there's, hey, I'm getting paid well underneath what a professional boxer would or Manny Pacquiao. So I will in no means ever right. will I sustain long-lasting damage for a small paycheck. Never will that happen. On, and never will the beast ever have that happen to anyone that fights beneath him. On, on, a, <laughs> on average, Bob, how much are you making for these fights? Just so I get sort of a on, frame. On average, uh, this is a great question. On average, uh, because uh, you have to include, it's roughly around that 30000 to $40,000 a fight range. All right, and you are very um, active. And, and it's, it's, I'm sorry, and that can be a bit misleading because... Uh, you know, in between time, I'm doing the, the television shows and the commercials and things of this nature. And so that's what, when you say upon average, that's what it is. Obviously, it, it calculates out to be a significant more between three to five times that. Yes, that is correct. However, when you're talking about just the fights, um, as you know with me, you always got to talk about schedules and commercials and stuff like that. When you're talking about just the fights right now, you're looking at basically thirty to $40,000. All right, so let's cut to the chase, Bob. You've lost 10 of 11. This was, like I said, the, the toughest of the bunch in terms of length of time. There are people who think you are throwing these fights, that you're coming in to collect a paycheck, you're falling to the mat, you're pretending to be hurt. And if you look at the footage, I mean, it's hard to argue with them. What do you say to those people? Oh, well, um, I, one thing that I uh, say is let's take a look at and rewind back. You saw some historical, difficult fights that I fought with Ernesto Hoost, and then I have fought with uh, Antonio Nogueira. This is correct. 
if you were to take a look at what recently has happened with uh, K1 and the fact that you had wonderful, great, strong fighters such as Ray Sifu or Alex Ignashoff fight for K1, and then K1 leave, and they were left without collecting a paycheck. So when the beast enters the ring, is he in there to collect a paycheck? The answer is hell yes. Mm. If, if you're asking, um, well, Bob, you know, you are receiving less damage, and there's no amount of damage that you are receiving, and sometimes these fights are being lost. Well, I guess if you would want to put numbers on my record, whether they are a zero or a number one, you will be doing so on my paycheck. So that is what it is, plain and simple. And in terms of number, we must talk about this. The Beast walks in and is number one in the media for every 12 fights. That is correct. I mean, we, we see this, we know this. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, Australia has just recently written on this, and many people are now writing on this. So I am number one in every media category, number one in the entertainment, number one for the views, for the fight, for that organization. I'm number one, and I have a losing record. So if I was to even come in on a winning record, obviously these small organizations, the last thing they would be able to do is afford my services. And on top of it, what am I going to do? Be number one and number one? Okay, if I am, they're no longer going to be able to afford me, so I just won myself out of a job. What do you mean by number one? Congratulations, Bob. What do you mean number huh. one? Number one? What does that mean, number one? Um, well, number one, uh, in it, all you have to do, this is uh, just simply look. Let's just take on YouTube or take the views and look at Bob Sapp's fights versus and uh, Bob Sapp's uh, sappy videos, and you can see those on Bob right. TV as well as everywhere else. Okay, so you're saying However, that you're, you're saying that you're very popular, but this is and correct me if I'm wrong. You're essentially saying that you're going into these fights to get the paycheck. Why even get hurt? Because you're still popular, and you don't care if you lose because you're still going to get paid by these guys. So, in other words, to make it shorter, you're throwing these fights. Am I throwing these fights? No. Will I go into that that ring and receive large amounts of damage for small paychecks? No. When it came to K1, at the time when everyone, when K1 was doing well, they did pay significantly enough to have you go into that ring and, hey, any kind of injury you get, they're going to pay. So let me give you an example. Uh, Mirko Krokop, he cracked my eye socket. Right. Okay. Mirko Krokop, um, he received his paycheck. I received my paycheck. They also paid for my entire hospital bill. These small organizations that you see that look so wonderful, they pay none of your bills if you get hurt. Period. Period. But isn't Period. that isn't that just part of the job? Like why even why not go into pro wrestling or you're an actor, you do well yeah. in the acting world. Why even do this then? Oh well, I could if you would like to get hurt for small amounts of money in a fight, we call that the military. No, but if you would like to get hurt in an arena where it's supposed to be sanctioned and and it's supposed to be more safe, and they are supposed to pay for at least your medical bills to get hurt, then we call that entertainment. If you want to see two strangers fight for free, we you can do that. We will give you just what? Seven dollars and go walk into a nightclub, and you can see two drunks giving it on in the corner, fighting. But Bob, consider you have no idea who they are, and they and guess what? You can do that for free. You you must one hundred percent understand that people and my fans, they do my fans, my friends, or my family. They will stand by me. They will stand behind me, win or lose. So, Bob Sapp. <laughs> I guess it's easy to love a winner. Or you can do, hey, where are you at like right now? Are you in California? Or is anybody over there in California? I, too, am a product of my environment. Are you from California? Well, yes. Then I think that you are a bit fair-weathered. Me? Yes. And for me? Not me. I'm not from California. Beast? Oh, yeah. From the beast? Well, what? that's very nice for you. And I'm glad. I hope that your temperature is... Very nice and comfortable where you are right now. 
indoors against all of the elements outside. But Bob, so, let me ask you a question. You fought four times this year, right? You're according to your Wikipedia page, you're gonna you have three more fights lined up. Uh, up until September. That's seven fights. You're making $30,000. You know there are fighters, there are top fighters in the UFC that don't make that kind of money. So you're, what you're saying oh, is... I guess, you know, I, you know. So you're saying suppose, that, why do MMA, though? That, that, that's the thing. Here's, here's the bottom line. The sport is so young, and we look at your fights, and we say that there are guys on these undercards who are fighting, they're trying to get by. I get that these small promotions aren't going to pay for your medical bills, but don't you feel like, to a degree, you're sort of, you're sort of taking advantage of the system and going in there, throwing these fights, and in essence making the sport look bad by doing so. Why not go okay. into pro wrestling okay. and get okay. this money? Why not do uh, that? Awesome. So, okay, this is this is great, and so I just wanted to cut you off before you got uh, started making it a little confused. So I apologize. <laughs> no, don't so worry. I got confused what? a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no. Sometimes it happens to us fighters. So yeah. you know. <laughs> so, so um, one, you did say a sport. So let's talk about a sport. Yeah. A outside governing body rules regulations that handle such and, and statistics. That's far from what it has. Now, when you said, "Hey, Bob, it's developing and it's crawling," you're absolutely. I am a pioneer of this sport. I currently hold every record for this MMA. That is correct, and for the fights, well, what I have kind? more I commercials, mean, more movies, right, right, right. more endorsements and more viewerships than anyone has. If you look on the fights that you have just spoken about, all of my losses, their views, just if you want to just, let's just call, you, you look at YouTube alone, you look at you, and you and everyone else, simply open it up and look at the views. Look at the attention that's being about through. Look at what the beast is doing for the fans. Look at when I go to these countries and I'm giving the money out to the, to the ones, to the adults, and kids in the hospitals, when I'm walking, going to the neighbors, let's talk about that. And if you're wondering, why do I do pro wrestling? Well, <laughs> now you do know I do pro wrestling as well. <laughs> well yeah. If you didn't, now you do. Well, okay. so I do it all. Movies, pro wrestling, that's right. I can do anything as well. This is what I teach. I'm very, I'm 100% sure that you will see the beast opening no gyms. <laughs> However, I can teach <laughs> what I learned from fighting, which is to roll with the punches. They call this mixed martial arts, which is mixed, which means a combination of every country. Martial, which is the fight that you see, the fighting arts, which is your artistic and entertainment talent. So if you have it, come on through and display it. If you don't, and you just like the mixed martial then take your butt over there to the military. But, if you want to do the mixed martial arts, well, <laughs> then jump right on in the ring. And if you're going to get in the cage, for crying out loud, take off the pit bull shirt. There's no illegal dog fighting. There's no pit bull fighting. Take it off. We no need to see that. Fighting, fights, dog, dog fighting in a cage. Throw the pit bull off. That's one of the reasons why we, no matter what, you have to take your shirt and put it inside out when I'm doing an interview. There's no, we don't do dog fighting. Okay, so, but let me ask you this, no Bob. Have the pit bull. I get it, and I ha I hate dog fighting, and I sh think it should everyone who does it should go to jail. But here's the thing: you look at these YouTube videos. Sure, they get good views, but you read the comments. Are they the kind of views that you want? Because now you're just saying you're sc what you're saying is okay to all the people that are watching me. Well, I have the last laugh because you're wa you're gonna keep watching me, but you're watching you're watching for the wrong reasons. These people aren't cheering for you; they're laughing. Bob, they're saying that you're making a oh, mockery of the and sport. You know what? And, 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 and you were a guy who actually, so, you, were, and, you did have great and, fights and, in Japan and, and whatnot. One thing that I would like, in, in laughter, laughter brings about enjoyment. <laughs> no, it's not, this so is not I, what you I want. I want them to laugh. I want them to laugh. Would I want somebody wincing in pain and crying? No. You can do enough of that at the hospital. If your loved one is sick or if they die, you can do enough of that by watching the news. That's right. When you see the beast, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> do your comments. So, you know what? Somebody told me Bob Sapp sucks. Hmm. <laughs> I think he's right. Sapp, please. <laughs> Listen, I, I give I you, I give you credit, Bob. It's it's amazing that people, you know, you're in the main event, you're getting this these these paychecks, thirty thousand, forty thousand. I'm giving you credit for this. I mean, 
if 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 they're going to well, offer actually, it to you, you know, if you would like to establish credit with me, yeah, that is, um, what's can I run up the tab? How can I do that? What do you mean? You want you want to you want you want to you want to throw a fight here? I'm not going to fight you. Actually, given your performances, I could probably beat you. I think, but I would never I, I, do that. You know, I think you definitely can <laughs> with this beat pinky me in fighting 100. percent Now, if you would like to beat me in the fight the entertainment industry. No, well, I would never do it. No <laughs> chance. You're going to have to do a whole lot more than talk, my son. So, <laughs> or, so, so should I say my fun? <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, so it's a great situation to be in, but at some point, don't you just feel like, you know what, why am I traveling to Kazakhstan, which you're doing in a, in a few months? Why am I going to all these places? Because, it's one, because I need just, to learn one of the most, the most prolific boxers in the world, named Vladimir Klitschko, I believe he was born in Kazakhstan. Yeah, but he doesn't How throw awesome fights. He doesn't throw and, fights. And, Muhammad Ali didn't and, throw and, fights. And, and, Antonio and, Rodrigo and, Noguera didn't throw no fights. Is, again, All these guys are, didn't throw are, fights. So why are, why, are, why are you throwing the fights, Bob? For the integrity okay, of the sport. No throwing. You are. Fight. You admitted if, it. If, if, you, if, if you are wanting me to take a large amount of damage for a small paycheck or no paycheck, I again... You are more than welcome to join your military. So don't. You want to but no one's forcing. Who's forcing if, you to if, take these fights, Bob? Who's forcing you to if, do this if, for a living? If, if there is no, who is forcing you? I think that that would be the economy, and I believe that oh. if you would like me to stop fighting or to stop doing the beast inside of the ring, then you know what you can do. Hey, I have great credit with you. Let me run up the tab. Hey, bro, I got over $2,000 a month worth of bills. You ready? Can I run up the tab with you? You said, oh, I got good sure. credit. Come on now, back it up. Just don't talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's I don't know what you're up, talking brother. about. You want me to pay you? Hey, hey, I don't you understand. Got credit. No, I'm going to pay you back. Let me just run up the tab. Come on, you've seen K1. Come on, you've, you just heard me about Ray Sifu. He wasn't in there to collect a paycheck. And guess what? Nobody talking about him. Oh, man. What about my bit, my, my man? My main man, Gary Goodrich. How come he's got brain damage? Huh? Were y'all paying that? We're, who's saying that? Uh oh, hang on. What do I hear? You must be doing the movie right now because you sound like you're doing Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> no, it, I, listen, That's like right. I said, let's so say I said. going to sit back over here and just have you do a whole bunch of talking keyboard warriors. You better unite. No. You know what you can do? You want to see a really great fight? You can add some zeros on the paycheck. Who cares? You guys aren't even paying for YouTube anyway. I, you're you're, you're 100% right. You. At you're the end of the day. The, you are getting, how many fighters do you, how many t-shirts have you bought? How many action figures have you bought from the people who've done the prolific fights? How about that? Where's that at? Okay, well, are you viewing it on YouTube and saying, guess what, I'm going to get it for free? <laughs> no, no. But here's the thing. I don't know who, you know, who really to blame here. I mean, is it the fans who are buying the tickets to these fights thinking that they're going to see a real well, fight? Blame, is it the, you is like it the promoter? The fans, is that's it, on you. No, no, no. I'm saying that's, I don't know who to blame. But at the end of the day, well, I'm just what? wondering, as a, as a man, it, 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 how do you look in the mirror, know, Bob? I'm going to tell you. Okay. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. You blame yourself. You go over there. You get the tickets. You go over to Kazakhstan and you sit in that seat and you go in that arena and you bring your people all across the world and you sit them in that stadium and you say, but I will enjoy you. Why? Because you are there to help support the fighters. Hey, I'm, exactly, you, Bob. You the fighters. You exactly, Bob. Adopt. You stopped being a fighter. You became so, an actor. So I'm going to support the fighters. I'm going to talk about the sport. You stop being a fighter. You're not a fighter. Oh, you're, on, you're, you're an actor. You're, you're an actor, Bob. You're, you're, you're throwing fights, and it's ruining the integrity of the sport and the promoters that are booking you. Let's be real. The promoters that are booking you are just uh, as guilty as you are. But you're, are you, you are, are you, not you a know fighter, know you're Bob. You're, you're as much of a fighter as I am. You are as much of a fighter as I am. Go ahead. Correct, and you have the record to prove it. <laughs> exactly. Actually, my record's better than yours at this point. One thing, yeah. that when we're talking, when you're speaking of, you yeah. must be involved for right now. You must be... When you're talking about the promoters bringing me in, despite yeah. the fans, despite everybody coming, I can tell right now you are in the fight business because that's what you're doing. You're wanting to fight business. You are wanting to fight the revenue that's coming in. That's what you're doing because, you know what, you can tell less about those fans. You're like, it's only about me, Bob. Well, you know what, get on an airplane, bro, and calm down and sit down. Like, hey, listen, you said you can beat me, then you jump in the ring. <laughs> no just talking. Talk is cheap. You've got Skype. Guess what? Do pay per view, jump in the ring and get against me. And when there's hey, there's half a million dollars generated because 
you know, you're so great and everybody's listening to you and you're doing all the acting and all that stuff, then guess what? They're going to pay. And guess what? Now we'll, I will make sure that you will have a face for radio. <laughs> I, I probably have a face for A lot of people think I have a face for radio right now. And I probably couldn't pay the purse that you're looking for. But the, the thing that I'm wondering is, well, you like to have the promoters saying it. So what's, well, what's going on there? Yeah, you know what? No one wants to see me fight you because you would obviously be me. But here's the point, Bob. The point. Oh the, man. Oh, come I don't on. know. You given my record. Hey. Yeah. This come is my on. loss. Come on. I know. I know. But can, at what point? This is what I want to know. At what point did you sit back and say? Because again. It is brilliant. At what point did you sit back and say, listen, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to train. I'll turtle up. I'll show up. I'll, I'll start laughing. I'll do my do whole shtick. At, at what point? On, like, like when did that what happen? What about the training? You didn't. Talk come on. What are you training for? To turtle up? Come on. You're okay, not training. Okay. So, so, you know, one thing that's, uh, well, we do train to, to turtle up. That's <laughs> okay. called the defensive position. Okay, you're okay, right. You're you right. should know that because you're taking it right now, and you're doing very well as it. As I ask you these questions, you're doing very well in that turtling up position. No. You're bringing your little neck right on you. I don't know if I can fight you. I don't know if I, I can fight you, Bob. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I just want to know <laughs> when you came to the realization that you can sort of cheat these people out of their money get the promoters to pay because it's brilliant. I wish I could half-ass my job and get paid as much as people who actually put their blood, well, sweat, and tears into their job. Well, you wish you were brilliant. Is that what you're saying? I oh, wish. I think you're brilliant right now. Listen, you've got the beast on here, and you haven't paid any money. <laughs> you're doing a fine job. You're doing splendid indeed. And when you win your radio award, when you win a award for this broadcast, for your show, when you bring in millions of people, then you come back and you talk to the beast. When you make history, then you say it. But right now, my brother, you will just say history. And guess what? You will say my story. That's right. Oh, the beast. <laughs> what is, well, Coming at you on MMA Live. <laughs> it's not even the name of my show, Bob. Come on. If you're going to come on my show, get the name right. What is the name? <laughs> Tell us the name. The name is the MMA Hour, Bob. Come on. The MMA Hour. And it, is it live? It is live. There are a lot of people oh, watching God, and enjoying God, this. Right I now. messed up and I, I messed up and said it was MMA Live, but your name is it's MMA Hour. <laughs> I'm on the show live in the hour. <laughs> I'm glad you correct me. You gotta know all the details, and that's what you do. That's what makes you just a fine journalism man. <laughs> do, you, do you read? Do you Can read I the comments, Bob? Guy? Like, because because I'm just wondering, do you read the comments, and does it bug you when you when you see people accusing you of this stuff? Okay, now. Do I read the comments? Yes. And I care only about what people think instead of what a person thinks. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make any sense. What do you, you, what do you mean by go that? go ahead and take that one and mix it up and put it all in your brain and go ahead and say, hmm, what's going on with the beast? And that's why you're having a show. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that mean? Live in the hour. What does that mean? No, let's be real. I want to have a serious discussion with you here. Don't give me the shtick. Because that... Cause that... Oh, Hey, listen, if, if, if I was going to give you the stick, it would definitely fall from being on radio. We would make some money, and that would be on pay-per-view. Oh. <laughs> we all know the porn industry is number one. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to sleep with me, Bob? Come on. No, no, it's okay. oh, you said give you the stick. I have no <laughs> idea what that means. But, hey, so what is if Bob... you want a spanking, you can get one. No, I know I don't want one. Come here, son. W what Let do me you... turn you over my knee. What do you do on like a on a daily basis to get ready? So I'm looking at your your record right now, right? You've got uh, someone by the name of, geez, Louise, what's this guy's name? I'm looking at Tolagan Aki Bekal. Wait, 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 tell me, tell me the uh, t if you can I, the name may uh, mess up. Just tell me the location. Okay, it's uh, Kazakhstan, Astana, Kazakhstan, June eighth, two thousand twelve, Bushido, yeah, 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 volume yeah, yeah. fifty one. Okay, so this guy, I mean, what do you know about him, and how do you prepare for this guy? I'm just curious. Okay, so this one thing that uh, you have to know is that Kazakhstan. They're very, very, very uh, strong people. If you look at their history, they're, I think they're ranked now um, most of the number 11th in boxing. So they're, they're very good. As I've talked about, Vladimir Klitschko uh, right. it was born there. Um, and I think that was in 1976, if I recall. Uh, however, so, hey, I may get the numbers wrong because no, don't <laughs> I'm worry. getting many punches in the ring. So um, one thing that you have to prepare when you go there is to know that they are a very strong country. Um, if you look at that, uh, the comic Borat that came out of that country, um, he depicted them in a wrong light. He wanted, they, they said, you know what, if you're going to show us just as being silly, you better make sure you show us as being strong. So what I have to do for this fight, I have to know, and you may see the light, but guess what, when they hit you, you may see some darkness. 
So I've got to learn, like what you said, I've got to turtle up. This time I've got to actually have my turtle shell defend me because if I was able to actually turtle up that defense, you know, with ding dong, ding up bounce right off of that shell. Yeah. I need to get into that shell, and instead I need to uh, kind of turtle up, get on my back, do the shrimp, A-B, ha, 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 and uh, get out of that position if I'm in the down position and learn from this, his losses. What I can tell you is he's, he's open to the leg lock. He's just recently uh, lost. I'm sorry. He, that was in Korea. He's open to the leg lock. This guy instead is he, he doesn't have that many uh victories i believe he's only like uh got two and i think he's two and three or two yeah, and one or something shocking. of that nature right. so so um well hey listen you're the one who knows the statistics on the sport <laughs> i just do it so um I, you, you, you sit there as, like uh, when you when you sit with your team you say okay this guy, this one you know it's kazakhstan it's a long flight we're gonna just fight for 10 seconds and then we're gonna get the hell out of there collect our paycheck like do you actually try to get to the point where you're gonna lose or do you just no. say no, you don't pick the time. You just sort of go with the flow. No, no we, we, we go in there, and we go in there, and we fight. And if I receive some damage, then I leave. And that also ties into the, the big question that you asked. Hey, Bob, what about people talking about you on the Internet? No, I'm sorry. I received my injuries in the ring, as you've just seen with Soa. I have a big split and an eye that's cracked open. Now, the talking back and forth, <laughs> and you know this better than anyone, it's painless <laughs> however okay. if you would like to debate that against me we'll do so no 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 I, 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 listen bob we've got this great thing planned I, you're not in front of the computer are you no 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 i have no no you you're not it. okay so you're just gonna... no, i wish if, if they would have told me i would have set it up obviously uh it's okay we can uh we can improvise because you were there you experienced it eric why don't you cue up the clip here what we did we put together because like you said a lot of respect no no audio no audio just cue up the clip pause it for a second Pause it, pause it, pause it. This, Bob, what we're showing right now on the, 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 the screen, because people can watch and listen to this, are the highlights okay. of your last 10 great fights. You've, won, you've lost 10 of 11, so we picked those. The one yeah. when, you know, that was just a, such a, a glitch in the Matrix or something. So here we go. We're, a we're, glitch we're, in the Matrix? Wait a minute. Are you talking about computers now? I'm no, I, I just don't understand how you won that fight. That's all I'm wondering. Okay, here we go. Let's oh, play the clip. Guy, well, let me explain to you. If Wait, you here's, like to we're showing so poly like. You're going to have to pause. Okay, pause, like pause, 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 pause. Okay, please. You would like to know. <laughs> I would like the, to know. The, the, uh, I believe you're talking about Tufan Pirani. He kicked, he, re, he cracked his shin on my knee, and thus he was unable to continue. So if you're asking how he won, he now you up. have an answer. <laughs> However, I am very disappointed in you. You are supposed to be reporting. No, but you're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong Bob. Things. It was Sasha Weinpolter. <laughs> Come it was, on, brother. It was Sasha, Come on now. It was Sasha Weinpolter that you beat in uh, March of uh, 2010, March 27th. So I guess you're oh, wrong. Uh, I did, oh, wait a second. You said uh, the most, my most recent win. That was in Dubai. No, this is according to your record. I'm just going by your record. Your most recent win was in March Oh, uh, you're talking about MMA, because I do both. <laughs> what do you do? What's the other well, one you that you know, do? I've got to be able to make a paycheck. Come on now. Oh, like you're you said, UFC isn't paying even the people who do UFC. And all of these organizations are are less than UFC. They're under UFC. They make under UFC money. Oh, my goodness. What's going on with this one? Yeah. So oh, okay. So who did you guys I... again? What was the guy's name who you said I beat? Oh, okay, so is this other? But I see what you're saying. That was K1. That was kickboxing that you're talking about, and that win was in February of 2012. Your last win prior to that was in June of 2005. But here's the point. Let's play the clip. Let's go Ooh, from what's the, the guy's name in 2005. What's the guy's name? Uh, 2005 was. What are you talking about? That's all. Oh, in K1 or in MMA? MMA. That's what I think. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I said in 2010 you beat Sasha Weinpolter in. Uh, Split Croatia, but that's not important. Cool. Let's go to the beginning of the clip. Let's go to the beginning. I just want to. I just want to sort of show because in case someone is watching this and doesn't mm -hmm. know, you know how great you are. Here we go. Okay, here's you versus Soy Pilate. The fight starts. You're wearing the cool uh, beast shorts, and you just walk right into it. And then I'm wondering here if you're saying. Wait, to now, the, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop <laughs> that wonderful beast footage. Okay, pause it so for a second. What I would, what are, are you? What stance am I in? Am what stance? You walked right in, but uh, what I wanted to ask what stance, was... Uh, what stance? The, the turtle, the turtle. Actually, what's that? It was the turtle. Like, you put your hands I up. I walked in a turtle stance into the ring? Oh, my goodness. I just have no belief. What, <laughs> I cannot <laughs> believe my eyes. Okay, okay. So, but I want to know, did you talk to the ref and say, listen? I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, okay. Can you please answer what stance do I begin the Standing. Fight in? You stand. I'm on the standing stance, yeah. correct? Yes, yes, yes. In fighting, we have what's called orthodox, and we have southpaw. Yeah. 
So, what stance do you see me fighting in? Uh, we have to go back. Okay, rewind. Are you talking about the last fight? I am speaking of the fight of Saul Pelagi. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to... Uh, why don't you just tell us, because uh, that'll make things quicker, no? That's right. That's exactly right. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the beast is in southpaw position. Why? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I see now. We're, we're, because when I'm fighting orthodox, or whether I'm fighting southpaw, as we call it, mixed martial arts, I need to be able to fight in every position, on every realm, and this makes something instead of practice into reality. Okay. And sometimes you may get some failures. However, you stand right back up. As you can see, I've had <laughs> only two since 2005. Okay, what okay. Something like can you show the clips? Because I feel like I'm, I'm promising something that I'm not delivering. Okay, here's the thing. And, and, okay. and I'm no, I didn't do that. Sh- you sound like you're my pizza man. Sometimes no, no, no. I have no I, idea why. I'm, show, I'm showing it. And I'm wondering, like, because so I got a few extra shots in there. And now we're watching the Pujanowski fight. Like, do you talk to the ref and say, listen, what are you doing? Like, you clearly know the, I want to... Th- uh, the Pujanowski... Okay, are you... Which... Yeah, we're watching Pujanowski rain blows. Can you, can you blows. please tell me... Okay, so when you're... It's no worries. However, yeah. what I would like you to do is just when you're referencing the fight... Okay. And you, when you, so you... Instead of saying, oh, the referee, and then there's 10 fights, and then you get to just... So can you please give me the specific Okay, now we've got James Thompson, right? James Thompson takes you down, and... I mean, okay, you've admitted that you're not you're acting in these fights. So why even pretend that you're hurt? Like you. Oh, tap- I'm sorry. I, you, you, you. The question was. Yeah. No one said anything about acting. You're the one who said they're acting in the fights. So let me tell you one thing: is that well, if I'm acting, then this is a real natural actor because it really pain is something easily to have taken in the fight. Something that un- definitely we all will admit you have no idea what it feels like to have a pain in the ring. <laughs> well, maybe if you've got a girlfriend and you've given her a ring, that caused you a lot of pain. <laughs> 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 However, you've got to be able you've got to be able to get inside that ring. Okay. And I'm talking more than the one around your collar. I'm talking more than the one around your dirty drawers. I'm talking about you've got to get into that ring and you've got to feel all of that pain. This was so a good one. When you say, how does it feel to have somebody talk about you? Well, guess what, radio man? I know you have somebody talking about you because you got the beast doing it right now. And yeah. you tell us, how does it feel? <laughs> okay, but uh, <laughs> but do you even feel any pain in these things? Or do you tell, do you tell I don't know, do, do you, t- pain, do you tell the you opponent? You know. Let me ask you, do you tell the opponent, like, listen, I'm going to turtle up in like a minute or so. Just like kind of hit me, but don't really okay. hit me. And then the ref will step so in. So what, we don't... what fight are you referring to, sir? Well, we're just watching all of them. We're watching a highlight here. We just saw Soka Jr. What are you referring to? All of them. I mean, we just saw Holes Gracie. Well, there you was... just asked. You, 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 so is that grammatically correct? You're asking me about a person, and now all of a sudden you're saying talking about people? Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? <laughs> I just said. <laughs> no wonder Holes Gracie. You on How'd you do in that English class? Soka Jr. Now we're seeing Minnow Man. What are you doing journalism? This was a good one. The Minnow Man one. You remember this one? I'm, I'm asking you a question. What, what, what? what one are you in referring to? Are I, you talking about men or man? Yeah, I just said. you got to keep up, Bob. Don't be dodging I'm, these I'm, questions. I'm sorry, I'm a big guy, and, you know, I, I've got to work on stamina. So, you know, lighter and, you know, hey, you're too light to fight and too thin right. to win. You know that? So we just saw the, we just saw the highlights. <laughs> Here's the question, Bob. You're asking me about the minimal man fight. And yeah. Let me tell you. Okay. Are you referring to the guy who went on to win the Hulk championship? Yeah, yeah. Okay, in the, in your, you're referring to the guy who, so he won three fights against large opponents. Yeah, so? So he's a champion. Okay. So I, are you referring to as to why I lost against a champion? Well, I can just tell you, my son, <laughs> it's just what happened during the fight. You know that. <laughs> well, wait a minute. You talk about it. <laughs> oh, the, you're not going to give me the whole you're not a fighter stuff. That that one's been played out on this show you're way too long. You're doing very well fighting against me right now. You have yet to accept anything that I've said, so you're doing very well. I know. Matter of fact, <laughs> let me tell you, you want to go into the military? Because you're doing very good on self-defense. Let me ask you, Bob. <laughs> can you just tell me, can you just honestly tell me, because like you said, you've been involved in some great moments. What was the point where you said, listen... I don't actually have to put my body on the line. I don't have to get injured. I'm going to get paid around the same. I could go travel the world, fight these guys. Do you remember the point where you had this sort of epiphany where you didn't have to actually, you know, go in there and compete? You could just collect these paychecks and, and collect the L's on your I record do. as oh, well. So, so, okay. Give wait, me an honest wait, answer now. Give me an about, honest. Are you talking? Yes, I will definitely be honest. Okay. And, well, I've, I've got to be the beast first. So let me tell you, let me ask you this question. Are you, which 
are you referring to? Are you asking me, hey, Bob, when did you come to the epiphany that Jerry Goodrich has brain damage and no one is paying for that? Hey, Bob, are you talking to me about the fact that a lot of these K-1 fighters went unpaid and now all of a sudden you want to say that, huh, you guys, you got to be in there collecting a paycheck. At what time, when did I have that epiphany? Yeah. Well, I will tell you. It was when the bill collector came and I said, well, hey, I'm Bob Sapp and uh, look at my YouTube videos. Look at these uh, these people reporting on me and um, <laughs> here, let me go ahead and, and will this work? Can I, can I take that belt? Can I take those trophies and melt them down? Hey, you say go for the gold. Are they gold? No. Those things are worth about a dollar. Okay? So if you're asking me, hey, Bob, go ahead and put it on the line, you've said yourself, you have UFC fighters who are fighting more and who are doing harder fights and they're getting less money. So you know what? I guess you better rally up your troops, my brother, and say you better start paying them. Because when I do the same thing as everyone else, just as the promoter, they say fight business, and I am in the business of making money. How do I judge whether I have a successful fight? Success is judged by the measure of improvement. The measure of improvement in business is money. So as I talk to you and say, maybe you're from California and you're fair weathered, you know one thing because you're a product of your environment, and so am I. I am from Seattle, Washington, and even when the sun don't shine, I will be making green. <laughs> so, so, Bob, see, now I like this. I like this because I feel like you're kind of giving me an honest answer here. I feel like what you're trying to say is that there should be some sort of union in MMA where guys are protected more, where guys get you know money when they're retired, and you're trying to make a statement here by saying, look, I'm going to get paid just as much as you. I don't have to put my body on the line. Let's rally well, the troops listen, here and if, go about if, it this way. You, That's what you're trying to say, are, right? If, if you are if, if you are changing your words to just as much as you, because earlier you said they said they get paid way more or less, more or less. They get paid more or less, Bob, and the UFC and they're getting less money. And they, oh my gosh! Well, if you are if they're actually getting paid more or less, more or less, then you're the one who says you was talking about a union. You talking about the fact that I got credit? Well, guess what? You just became my credit union. So whip out your paycheck, my brother. Because I got some bills to pay. In this next fight, it's going to go, hey, what you want? The distance, what you want? How much dollars you got to throw on down over there, brother? What you got? You got this big radio show. Come on. <laughs> hey, you better put what's your line of credit. Okay, can you give me, <laughs> give me, a, give me, give me a minute? I, I want to see if you can hit it on the dot. Get, go in there for 60 seconds and then call it a day. But obviously there's a lot of factors involved. The referee, you, got, you know, he has to step in. But can you give me a minute? And then I will truly have a lot of respect for you, that you can actually call your shot well, like that. Well, you know that. what? It, it, and, and listen, it, other than winning your respect, do you think I can win, like, some money? Mm, well, you're getting paid $40,000, right? Oh, but that isn't that. Hey, that ain't coming from your paycheck. And you asked the average, and I told you uh, a two different numbers, didn't I? Oh, my goodness. You're going to have to go back and just... Listen, this Come is on, the way I pay you, Bob. Listen, Bob, it's a big fight weekend. We just had a great card featuring a lot of great fighters who put their bodies on the line. Guys who you know, Josh Barnett, guys like Daniel Cormier this weekend. We have guys like, you know, Cain Velasquez and Frank Mir. Those are, those are great guys who I have a lot of respect for. But I'm, this is the way I'm paying you. I'm giving you an hour of my time on my show that I do once a week to sort of tell your crazy tale here and explain yourself to the people and explain it's why you are throwing these fights. Right. But you're not really you giving us you know what, again, you're not really giving us a real about, explanation. Well, I guess you're doing a lot of thing, dancing. You're doing a lot of dancing. One, you're not really telling us well, why. Hey, if, hey, I thought you just said I was trolling up. Well, I'm doing the turtle dance. It's all good. So <laughs> one thing that we can say is that when you talk about throwing something, the only thing that uh, I heard about was throwing up. That was you when you said, uh, look on the computer. So you threw up some videos that you, do you have, do you have the copyrights? Did you ask me to broadcast my image? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've asked me to be on your show. Hey, you making money off of this. Are you getting a paycheck? Are you asking me to broadcast? Are you broadcasting that image free of charge? Are you using YouTube? Did you decide to just go ahead and, now you seem I'm mad, Bob. Why do you seem so Did mad you about it? You're the one that's beating the system, so why are you so mad? Did you do a little bit of stealing there? Is that a yes or no? Why, why, why do you seem so... I don't do stealing. It's, you don't it's, want to answer my question. I am going to answer your question. It's it's YouTube. This is an internet show. We're using it for news purposes. If you oh, use something you're for... using your YouTube. Yep. Sir, did you ask Bob Sapp or anybody to use that nope. like that footage you don't, to you make don't, your paycheck there, sir? Bob, you don't own that footage, you and you that, know that sir? as well as you I do. Asked, you, you've asked the you, beast to be on your show. You've asked the beast to be on your show. All right. Did you call up anybody uh, to say whether or not... You have the copyrights to use that. Bob, do 
you know anything for about the people that want going to his show? Bob, you don't know. Do you know anything about fair use? I went to journalism school. You don't want to get do into that, this sir? argument. You don't want to get into this argument with me, Bob. If we're gonna have a normal conversation, I'm happy to have it. But I'm not here to to have a, a silly one where you're making voices and whatnot. I, I already lost enough respect that I had for you, a guy who I did oh like to watch goodness, back in the day. You know, and and, and you, now you're, you're making a mockery you, not only of the sport, but of yourself at this point, Bob. When I, when I'm trying I to ask you questions. You, I'm definitely going to cry, I'm going to lose respect. And I don't even know the show's name. I don't know if you don't respect me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. No, I, I don't think I can well, pay bills. I don't think I can help my puppies. I don't think I can do nothing because I just lost the respect for you. <laughs> Bob, we'll put it this way. Like I said, I'll, I'll tip my cap to you because it, it shocks me that people are, 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 are continuing to pay you and paying to see you fight. So I tip my cap. Keep oh doing it goodness. as and long as you, you can. What do you know about the people other than that you are supposed to be speaking for them? No, and no, no. But, but go, at the end of the day, I just don't know how, does that how you keep I doing it. No I, just, I just don't know how you keep doing it. Why not do something? You know, yes, I can make a lot of money uh, prostituting myself. But I'm not going to do it because that's that's just not who I'm about. That's I have a little that's more right. integrity. You know, you know but what? that's and what you're, you're doing you're here. You're prostituting yourself you know in the sport. I do believe, and I'm not going to try to get on some sort of high horse here and talk about the sport because there's a lot of issues do, in the sport. I just wish horses, someone like you, who has watched. a lot of integrity, who I thought had integrity, who did one a lot thing. for the sport back then, who drew so many viewers, would do something better than sort of one cheat thing. the sport and, and, and throw these fights. That's what I. I, I yeah. I'm disappointed as a guy who used to watch you as a kid. And you know what? And I believe that disappointment is something that you can grow to live with and, and learn. No, well, of and course. I'm not going to cry about maturity. it. So one thing, listen, one thing that you are absolutely correct. You said, hey, you're not a horse. You're correct. And you also said, you know what? You don't want to <laughs> prostitute yourself. That is also correct. Because you know what? You're just an ass. <laughs> oh, my right. goodness. That's different. Can we say that on the radio? You know all the rules and stuff. I'm scared. At the end of the day, Bob, this is an accomplishment for both of us because you came on my show and you lasted uh, longer in this interview than you have, I think, in all your fights combined, certainly over the last few uh, years. And that is, and, and that is something to be... And- Hey, that is something you know, to be very proud of. There's always truth in advertising. So you look at the Ernesto Hoots and you look at Nogera and you decide whether, hey, I've lasted longer than all my fights. Hey, you're going ahead and reporting and yeah. there's no way you can misconstrue it. And I would like to say thank you very much for having the Beast on your show. And I hope a lot of viewers come in and listen in and so you can make some money on the Beast. <laughs> Just like everybody else. Oh my goodness, what's going on? If you never liked him, never put him on the show, that's what you're saying. And what you're saying, now I get it, and I and I and I hope, Bob, that you get the help because if this is the way you Keep act in normal day life, then then maybe Keep all those alive. blows did did uh, did impact you a little more than they than than they should have. And I hope well, you, you're not dealing no with anything like that because that's very serious. The, the then maybe you I'm should the, leave the sport, Bob. Hit, right? There's no impact there. Well, there's certainly you're not taking any impact now, but I'm thinking back in the day something happened because of the way you're acting right now. Bob, oh, uh, well, God you just bless. Said acne, so that means that I'm far from doing it too real. Oh, oh, I don't even God. know what you're you doing. You are at this really point. reporting the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, you are oh, right. I'm you're just insane, acting Bob. right now. Bob, oh, you've goodness, lost your you mind. I, listen, you you you've been in some great moments in the sport. Your your moments over the last few years have not been one of them. I appreciate you coming on, but you're giving me too much of a headache with this laugh. It's uh, oh it's it's, it's corny, it's crying. fake, and what you've been doing <laughs> has not been very enjoyable. So at this point, Eric, we must say goodbye to Mr. Bob Sapp. God goodbye. bless you, Bob. We love you, and keep doing I what, what you're doing. You I love you, baby. Call Eric, me. say goodbye. Call okay. Me. What a joke. All right, that was fun. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even know what that is. I mean, I think at the end of the day, what we found out about that interview was that uh, Bob Sapp is throwing fights, and the reason why he's doing it is that he doesn't want to get hurt anymore. And I, I really do believe that the people who are paying him to fight, the people who are actually paying to watch him fight, quote unquote, are the ones at fault here. Bob Sapp's really not at fault. You really can't blame Bob Sapp for taking these paychecks and traveling the world. That's what I tried to tell him. It's the promoters who keep trying to trick us. Maybe it's the media for keep mentioning him. I wanted to try to have him on to sort of explain himself. But the guy is so completely out of his mind that he can't even do that. And then it's the people who go to these events and actually pay. 
But there's no doubt about it that what Bob Sapp is doing is a mockery of the sport and it's making the sport look bad. And listen, let's be honest, who is watching Bushido Volume 51? Who is watching Road FC8? Who is watching MMA Attack 2? No one. So we just gave them more attention that they'll probably ever get. But at the end of the day, I mean, there are guys like Daniel Cormier, there are guys like Josh Barnett and Gilbert Melendez and Junior Dos Santos and Frank Mir. Those are the guys who we respect on the show, guys who put their lives on the line and, and guys who earn the, uh, who deserve the money that Bob Sapp is, is stealing right now from all of us. But that's Bob Sapp, a guy who broke records in Japan, a guy who fought Big Nog, a guy who was a part of some of the biggest shows in MMA uh, back in the day when he was actually sort of kind of taking this seriously. Now he's just... Uh, a mockery for the sport and and he's just collecting paychecks and more power to him if i could get paid what he gets paid to do absolutely nothing and to be one tenth of the man that i could be then i would you know probably do the same i think all of us would why if you get paid to do nothing that's a great gig and he's getting paid to essentially go on a plane and turtle up more power to you bob sap